It was recently announced that this summer we'll see the formation of Canada's first professional soccer league. A high point of the proposed scheme is that the famous British soccer star Stanley Matthews will be coming over to join the new league. In an attempt to find out some of the details and information surrounding the new league, Gordon Howard interviewed a man who is an integral part of the plan, George Gross. George, I guess the headline news is the formation of the Eastern Canada Professional League. Right, Gordon, and it's big news. As a matter of fact, it's, it's the biggest news since I have been connected with soccer in Canada for the last 11 years. This professional soccer league has four major aims. One is to give the game permanence in Canada and keep it in Canadian hands. Two, make it the summer sport in Canada. Three, bring it up to the same level as hockey and football in Canada. And four, play the game as it is being played in 92 other countries of the world, that is, one game per week per city. Well, that looks like a strong uh, league. They should have a strong uh, slate of officers. Who are they? The president of this new league is Colonel Sato Marchand of Montreal, a very prominent uh, Montreal sportsman and businessman. The executive vice president is Harold Ballard of Toronto, uh, the member of the Silver Seven of the Maple Leaf Hockey Club, the president of the Marlboros. The first vice president is John Longworth of Hamilton, who is the personnel director of the city of Hamilton. The secretary is your old friend, Billy Simpson, who is the second vice president of the Canadian Association. Then there are two more friends of yours on the board of management, and as a matter of fact, both are from the CBC. The publicity director of this new professional soccer league is Steve Douglas, and the public relations director is Ed Fitkin. Very well known. Well, that augurs for a pretty good start. Now, is this league going to be governed by the Canadian Soccer Association? Uh, Gordon, this league will comply with all rules and regulation of soccer. That is, uh, with the rules of the International Soccer Federation, the Canadian Soccer Association, and the Provincial Association. And where are they going to get the players? Uh, they'll be getting players uh, from uh, various parts of the world. Uh, the Italian teams in the league, that is Cantalia, Montreal, and Toronto, Italia, will be uh, in reinforced by players from Italy... Uh, Hamilton Steelers will have players from Italy, South America, and Britain, and Toronto City will be an all-Canadian team with players from England, Scotland, Ireland, and perhaps one or two from South America. Well, I believe one pretty big name has been announced to play with Toronto City. Yes, that's the big one, Gordon. It's Stanley Matthews, Mr. Soccer himself. Stanley Matthews, who has been playing for England for... A great number of years has been known as Mr. Soccer all over the world. He is 46 years old today, still playing for Blackpool, still the most dangerous forward, the dribble wizard, and uh, just the plain fact that he has uh, agreed to come to Canada and play for Toronto City at Varsity Stadium will bring a uh, great many fans to the games. Has the opening date been set yet, George? Uh, not exactly, because we have to uh, wait for the announcement of international games. See, this league will also be playing an international tournament with a top French and a top Brazilian team. And uh, I expect next week they'll release news about this tournament and the local league schedule will be adjusted accordingly. And what effect will this have, say, on the National Soccer League? I think it will have a good effect. Uh, I think it will make uh, the clubs in the National Soccer League work that much harder, acquire good players, and try to bring the level of soccer up. Uh, this league, then, the, the Eastern Canada Pro League, will have a better caliber of player than is in the National League? Uh, definitely, Gordon. Up to now, uh, various provinces played off for the right to meet in the final for the Canadian Championship. It wasn't very successful, at the last meeting of the Canadian Soccer Association in Vancouver two weeks ago, they have made a decision that uh, the British Columbia winner, the Pacific Coast League champion, will play in the final against a winner between the champion of the Eastern Canada Professional Soccer League and the National Soccer League. Well, this all augurs very well for the game. It's certainly beginning to take its place as one of the most popular games in Canada. George, thank you very much for... This information on it, did I leave anything out that you'd like to mention? No, thank you very much. It has been a pleasure to be on your show. Thank you, gentlemen, and we certainly wish the new league every success. This is Assignment.